think we are live. I'm just checking um, before I get started um, to make sure that it doesn't glitch out. Usually it glitches out where it will say that I'm live, but it won't show it. So I'm just making sure that's happening. Okay, I think we are on. Okay, well, we'll start in a little bit. Let me just arrange some things quickly. Let me get a few more things that I want to do in this video. All right, I think I'm going to, we're going to get started here. So, hello everyone, good evening. My name is One Gets Bread, and yeah, today's going to be the first Pokemon stream. So I have some Evolving Skies. We got this on release day from my local card store. We also have Chilling Rain. This was from, oh gosh, where is it from? Oh, Five Below. It's from Five Below that's near my house. And... Yeah, we're going to open first the three-pack the three pack blister here. And then we're going to move on to the Chilling Rain booster pack. And if we have time, I also have one of the single ones right here. So, a lot of fun things in store tonight. And let's just wait a bit. I have some grapes to eat. Get started once I finish a few of these. Hope everyone's doing well and that they've had a wonderful day. It's been a crazy few uh, weeks for me. I actually started actually started college. Um, last week and just completed my second week into college so it's starting to pick up the pace but overall it's going well I just have an assignment tomorrow hi Krum Nelson good evening how are you doing well thank you I have one assignment still do and it's a chem assignment I need to do that tomorrow before midnight other than that, I think I should be good, actually. I might try and end this stream early, or I was going to do it like an hour or so, but maybe I could get a tiny bit of it uh, head start today for the... Um, it's like this thing you have to go online and answer some questions after the um, reading the chapter in the textbook. It's the first chapter in the um, organic chemistry, so it's like review from... Gen Chem or AP Chem. AP Chem was, oh gosh, like three years ago for me, so I remember most of my chem, but yeah, we could use our notes on it and look through the textbook, which is good, so I'm probably going to keep one tab open on the textbook and one tab on the um, questions or on my thing like that, and then have my notes out, of course, for the thing. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you're doing well. Yeah, I also have this Evolving Skies from GameStop as well, but I'm going to save this for a little bit later. I'm just waiting on a few more things, and we will get started. I'm just finishing a few more of these. Yeah, they are bussing. <laughs> These ones are kind of like a Mr. Grab bag of grapes that we got. Most of them are sweet, but then I ate some earlier downstairs that are pretty sour, so it's like a pick and choose thing. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm going to open this one first or the 
three pack. I might even, I don't know if I have time for all four packs, but. Also have a booster pack. I'm not a booster pack. Of course I have booster packs. Um, I have a tin still I haven't opened yet. I also have a, an elite trainer kit. It's on that side of the thing. I'll fish those out for a stream as well. Hi, Super Sammy. How are you? Good evening. Thank you for joining the stream. And yeah, this is going to be my first pack of Evolving Skies. Um, Chilling Rain. I think this is also my first pack. It's not my first. These won't be my first Chilling Rain cards ever. Um, because I've been buying some from my local uh, card store. I've been buying singles. And I don't have them with me right now, but I got a lot of the Holos and the Reverse Rares from... Chilling Rain and Battle Styles. I don't have a Battle Styles booster pack with me anymore. I open all of them. Uh, there's Vivid Voltage. Yeah, there's some Vivid Voltage also at our card store. Very good prices, except for... It's just um, 2 or $3 more than retail, but he had these too. For $15, so... At least you know that they're there at the card store other than looking at them for Walmart. But, you know, they have really good prices on singles, though. That's a, that's a good thing. Oh, well, my card store, I'm able to drive there. It's actually pretty close to my house. It's not too far we drive. I've been there. Um, let's see. I've been there almost. Let's see. I've been there uh, once, like. Three or four weeks ago, I went there before school. I went there twice. Um, between there, so like three times, I've already driven all the way down there. Thanks so much, Super Sammy. Okay, I'm gonna finish this. I still have a lot of grapes, but I'm gonna get to the Pokemon cards. Oh my! I'm gonna put these over. Here. Do you know I'm gonna put them over here now? My bad. Okay, let's see the chilling rain. I'll read the back. Oh. Uh, let's see how many cards. Over 190 cards. Um, looks like the chase ones in here were the Calyrex, Riding Calyrex, um, Zapdos, Articuna, and Moltres, of course, so they're Galarian forms. Um, now I can't remember the booster back trick where you move a certain amount of cards to the back. I think it's four. Let me, I need to look it up before I start opening. Uh, let's see. It's four to the front or four to the back, but then it's like, it depends um, which way you're facing. Let me see. I think it might be in this video. RC truck, friends and family. Oh, that's pretty fun. Sounds good. We used to have one of those RC cars, but I did not know where it is. It was red, and I just remember the dog going after it a lot. We'd um, pilot it around the house, and uh, the dog liked it a lot. Uh, let me just get this video to load. In the meantime... In packs nowadays, they have this slip here where you just pop it, um, kind of like you're opening uh, any type of box or, um, you know, letters. And so let's do that. Okay, just need to be careful. People are very pinnacle right now about the artwork, because the artwork is wonderful, as always. And it's just nice to save the, you know, like the art or the packaging sometimes with these things. So, I'm just going to preserve it as best as we can. There's the back. There's the front. And my video loaded. Let's see what, how to do the Picard trick. I need to relearn it because I forgot about it. 
Um, I forgot how to do the card trick. It's been a while since I've opened uh, Pokemon cards for like a stream or anything like that. I opened a pack with my friend Star Blizzard Devil O, um, but <laughs> we couldn't remember the card trick at the time, so we were just like, we were just shuffling through the um, deck of cards. Or let's just pretend that this was the booster pack that we were looking at. Okay, so we couldn't remember if it was like four cards to the front, stuff like that. We couldn't, so we were just like looking at them. Whoa! Wow! Whoa! We didn't know, um, well, I forgot how to do the, we both forgot how to do the, um, four to the back, four to the front. I forgot which way it was, so we just opened the pack in. We pulled a holofoil, um, we pulled, sorry about that, let me, they fell. There we go. We pulled a holofoil, uh, Zygarde from Vivid Voltage that day. It was, um, two days ago, so it was a pretty good, pretty good pull. It's my second, um, holofoil Zygarde from that set. I bought one of them at, um, Manticore, which is the store that's, I go to, and... It was for, I can't remember if it's a dollar, dollar fifty. I can't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, that one, a little, um, s there's a little presence of like a scratch on the front of the card. So I think I'm going to either like, um, trade it or just keep both of them. I do not know. Anywho, I need to, again, see the card trick. I paused the video by accident. Okay, so it looks like from the back when he has the code card, so he took off the code card. We have some old Pokemon cards from the early. Oh, those are those are really good. So that's like the um, third generation, and as well as the second one, I believe. So you have things from Gold, Silver, and Crystal. That's um, that's a good set. Um, Expedition maybe, or what's the other one? I can't remember their names off the top of my head. Isn't there one called... No, there's not one called Atlantis. It's something else with water. Uh, Neogenesis, that's a good set. Uh, the EX series from... Oh, I don't know. 2003 to 2006. That was Advanced Generation. Those are rare cards. Um, sometimes they turn up at, you know, um, V-Stock and even the uh, Manticore store, but... Those are those are really good sets. Those are very rare nowadays. Anything from the early, um, early two thousands. Those sets you could find some good things. You could even hold on to them for longer. And who knows the prices of those cards? The value might skyrocket. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so it's from the um, perspective of the pack being the back, so you see the blue card packs. Okay, so here's our booster pack, first one. Let me put away my phone. Okay, it, I think I accidentally, oh no. <laughs> I accidentally, I think, killed my phone by pushing the power button too many times, but it should be okay. Holo Dark Gyarados, that's a Wow, <laughs> really good card. Okay, so here's our booster pack of Chilling Rain. Um, that's Shadow Rider. How do you pronounce it? Calyrex, the you know the deer thing with the big old brain. In the front. So we have a different pack art from the sleeve art. Okay. Okay, these things are kind of difficult to open, and I struggled last time when I was opening packs. It's like 30 seconds for me to open one in a stream because uh, I've done Pokemon in a while. And so we do have our we have our code card here. Show that. Anyone who plays the thing. 
And they said take four to the front, so that's what I'm going to do. One, two, three, four. Do it like that. So we have dark energy. Who's that? Oh, Flannery, Flannery, the fire type gym leader from Hoenn. I can't read this one. Old Cemetery, so that's a spooky looking card, perfect for all the Halloween stuff at the Walmart and Party City and Spirit Halloween that's popping up nowadays. Steeny from Alola. Oh, it's uh, flipped because of the, yeah, I need to maybe turn my music stand around and then just put it regular. I know the video's flipped. I'll have to make note of that next time I stream. Actually, I could fix it right now. I'll do it after this pack. We have a coughing. It's a dark type coughing. That's strange. Shop at single strike. It's not focusing either. Oops. I think it's right here where it's focused. I do not know why the camera is Oh well, let's keep going. Squirrelvet, that squirrely looking squirrel Pokemon from Sword and Shield. Sfeel, my sister's favorite Pokemon. Swirlix, which I'm trying to look for in X and Y currently. They got rid of the fairy type, so now it's a psychic type. That's very cool. Old Cemetery, so now we have a holo. Or should I say reverse foil? It's a reverse foil, not a holo. We have two old cemeteries, so we're just going to put them over here. And our rare is a dark wheezing. A dark type wheezing, not a dark wheezing, but wheezing that's a dark type. So, again, I really do love wheezing, so this was... It was a nice card to pull. It wasn't anything special or anything like that, but I do love wheezing. I love both coughing and wheezing. All right, so that's our first pack down. Let me just see what, I wanna see what this thing does. I haven't bought the Galarian wheezing yet. They have one at the store, but I'm just waiting for it to get cheaper. They might lower the price, but once they do, I'm gonna probably get it. Okay, I'm going to change the camera. I'm going to try and see if this works. Oh. Uh, yeah, I need to do that. Wait, like this. Okay, so turn the stand around. Now I'm going to flip it. Oh, now I can't see the comments, though. Do you know what? I'd rather see the comments than the camera being correct. Hold on. I'd rather read y'all um, what y'all are saying on the stream and responding than oh, the camera being mirrored. I'd rather talk to you people. Okay. Sorry about that. I was just trying to see if I could turn it around a bit, but it seems as though I cannot. So let's just continue. I think the camera is at a different position now, though, than it was earlier. Anywho, so that's our first pack. Let me just move these aside. Okay, put this over here, we're done with it. Okay, now we're going to the big thing. We're getting to our um, Evolving Skies 3-pack blister with the Umbreon. It's an Umbreon. There's an Ice-Ski one at um, the card store, but I said, you know what? Umbreon is pretty cool. We'll get, we'll get ice Cube as well one of these days. They have them at Walmart, but I went with Umbreon. Can't go wrong with Umbreon. Okay, here's the back, and I'll read it off. 
dynamic power on the horizon. Feel the power of the shifting winds and brace for an epic storm as mighty dragon type Pokemon make the re triumphant return. Rayquaza VMAX leads the surge from on high, and Duraldon VMAX towers above the land in Gigantamax form. Joined by Dragonite V, Noivern V, and more. As the clouds part, Eevee's evolutions appear in a full rainbow of Pokemon V and Pokemon VMAX, the signal of bright new day in the Pokemon TCG, as well as a uh, new way for you guys to spend money on Pokemon cards. <laughs> Anyways... Find the bright signal in the Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield Evolving Sky set, which we have today. And there's over 200 cards, yada yada yada. Put the evolutions in there for <laughs> more fans to buy this set. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we could pull one of these chase cards in here. Alright, so I'm going to open this thing. Oh, I want to preserve the back, but I'm probably buying another one of these soon. Anyways, with oh, my birthday money or what what have you. Oh gosh, okay. So just made a big tear like that. Kind of preserved it. First pack. It has that I can't pronounce it. Dural Duraladon. Duraladon. And it does have a tower. Design to it. It's like a skyscraper. This is the Burj Khalifa, but it's a, it was a Pokemon. Anywho, let's get to this pack. Is this the top? Yeah, it is. Oh gosh. I need to really zoom in my head to see the hole. Oh gosh. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay. All good. All good. I'm gonna preserve these packs as well because I like using the art. I could use this at like um, these as a customizing thing for my binders or whatever. I decorated one of my binders with all the not sleeves from this one time. Okay, so let's open the. Ooh, we already got a dragon type. Start. Here's the code card. It's a all green one though, sadly. Okay, so now we're going to do four to the front. One, two, three, four. Got our energy first. Water. Oh, you don't know anything about Pokemon, oh man. Uh, basically, it's a big old thing about... Uh, you see there's the cars, there's the video games, there's the show. And there's the merchandise in. It's just a series or going around and catching and battling and um, building friendships with all these characters and they all have like unique abilities and stuff so that's basically Pokemon actually there's a video called um so this is basically Pokemon that might sum up what the uh, games are like so it's on YouTube it's a very funny video anywho we got a water energy so if I like throw this card am I a water bender like um from Avatar like Boom. <laughs> there, I, I just did some water bending. You throw a water type Pokemon card like this. Boom. That's called water bending. Maybe that's how they do it in the, the Atla universe if they collected Pokemon cards. Anywho, I'm going off of a tangent. Let's go back to the cards. We have Crustle, the stone, stone home Pokemon. Rescue Carrier. It's like a luggage. The Crystal Cave. Is this the one in Mexico? It might be. They have a giant crystal cave in Mexico. They have these giant crystals that have been there for, you know, millions of years. And um, they're much taller than a human. Dino. Mareep. Wobbuffet, single strike. Love Disc. Dwebble. So we got a pre-evolution for that Crestle. Let me find him. There he is. So we got one evolution line. Teddy Ursa, reverse. And a Shiftry. Very cool Pokemon. It's based off the Japanese Tengu, which are these ogres with fans that look like leaves, as you can see on Shiftry's hands there, those leaves. Um, they're known for blowing winds. They're, 
they're like these bird humanoid ogre things in Japanese myths. So a lot of Pokemon are based off Japanese mythology, and um, it's very interesting to like read about um, the legends that inspired some of these creatures. So yeah, that was our first pack. Um, this thing, this looks like. Maybe you could do something with that, but it's been a while since I played uh, competitive cards, so there's our first pack. Let's take let's take a look at that Umbreon. Oh, how am I gonna open this? All right, do you know what? I can't pop it up right now. I might damage the card. I'll just worry about that later. Okay, now we have our Sylveon. So here's the Sylveon, and I'm gonna open it now. I'm getting in a more comfortable position. I'm kind of twisted, twisting myself. There we go. That's better. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to be very careful, almost surgical, how I open this. I think we have another green card. All green. Oh, I can't tell. Let me just pull it out. I think these are all green. Didn't get anything lucky. Yep, it's an all green card again. Oh well. I think it's upside down. There we go. Okay, one, two, three, four. Fighting energy. Who's this? Golduck? Golduck! Oh, this is another one. I'm gonna uh, bring up the Shiftry again. I was saying the Shiftry is based off something in Japanese mythology. The Golduck is based off another creature in um, Japanese folklore. It's called the Kappa. This creature is known as a uh, water imp. It's like a river imp. River child is the name, uh, the translation of the name. And it's very mischievous. Uh, sometimes Kappa are good, sometimes they're bad. And what's interesting in the legends is um, there's a bowl on top of the Kappa's head where it has water in it. And Basically, if the water's not there in its bowl, it's like sick and stuff like that. So, very interesting piece of Japanese folklore is the legend of Kappa. It's actually inspired by the at the real life animal, the Japanese giant salamander. And um, there's this show called River Monsters that I used to watch religiously as a kid. Um, the fisherman in it, the he's also a naturalist and such. Um, he went to Japan and he caught one of these things, and they're like, uh, about like this big. Let me scoot back. They're like about this big. And a Japanese giant salamander was in like this, the brook, the stream. There was water, and then I think they just like caught it with a net like that, or he did it by his hands, but they're like this huge. They're really big. Anywho, so he got a gold duck. I'll put them in a different pile. Who's this? Erdier. Scroll of the Fanged Dragon. Whoa. If it has like its attack, I guess you give it to a Pokemon. Uh, yeah, you could. Um, it's basically like a TM in the game, I guess. So you give it to this Pokemon and you could use that new attack on it. Single strike as well. Okay, Scraggy. They have a Scraggy. Um, blush, but I did not know where it is. I love the Scraggy. Uh, Feebas. It's Hoenn's Magikarp, basically. Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan, another fun Pokemon to use. Uh, it's not very good in um, like the series competitive teams, but I like how it learns all these elemental punching attacks. Like, has fire, has fire, ice, thunder, mock, um, it has all these different punching attacks. Comet Punch, Mega Punch, Sky Uppercut, all of them. So you could do like a... Hmm, you could run like a Choice... Choice... Not Choice Band, what's it called? Assault Vest. Iron Fist and... Got a very bulky Pokemon, I guess. You could build it as a, a bulky set. Anywho, this is a Slack Off, so it's a Sloth. It's hanging on the cliff. Oh man. Hang on there, buddy. Had a little a reverse Emolga and our rare is Altaria. 
looks more like a bird than a dragon, but it's a dragon type. Okay. Okay, our last pack is right here and has Rayquaza on it. Let's hope for a white code card. I need to make it wider. There we go. Now we got it. Up there. Okay, Rayquaza. Let's go Rayquaza. Okay. Whew. Hopefully we get something good out of this one. Not a green code card, is it? And I think, do we have a winner? Let's see, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh man, it's a green code card. I kind of want to open that other one now. Just to see what a non-green code card will give us. Here's the turn around. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Four from the back. Put it to the front. Okay. Fighting type energy again. Who's this? That's a space, a NASA space suit. Full face guard. Maybe it's made by NASA. Uh, Hypno. Funky looking Pokemon there. Vigoroth. So we got the evolution of the slack off. Single strike. Mareep. So we have our regular Mareep now. Wow, Buffet. It says a single strike one too. Oh yeah, it was. It is. Here's a love disc. Dwebble. Hippopotas. Ooh, reverse Nicket. That's an, this one, the new ones. Nicket. Well, let's see what it does. Cunning and cautious. This Pokemon survives by stealing food from others. It erases its tracks with the swipes of its tail and makes off with its plunder. Oh, that's why its tail is shaped like a little broom. Now it makes sense. There he is. She, I don't know if this is a, a guy or a girl Nicket, but pretty cool looking fox Pokemon. And our rare is their Altaria. <laughs> okay, so we pulled the same thing. Here's, we have two Altarias now. Okay. So nothing exciting so far. I think I'm feeling it with the other... Um, Evolving Sky Pack. I'm going to open it. Let's open it. Let's open it. Okay, we're gonna open it. This is from GameStop, and they had a whole bunch of these. I picked a Sylveon one. Some like 360 wheel actions, like doing a bunch of cartwheels. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Again, just gonna carefully pop up in the back. Oh man. I think we need stretch. Let me reposition my table. All the boosters are falling off of my table. <laughs> the fan is kicking them all off. Okay. Do this very, very carefully. Oh, come on, glue. There we go. That's scary, kind of. How that glue is just like a. It's like Venom was there, Spider-Man. Oh, 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 I accidentally tore it. No worries, it's just the, it's just the casing. Okay, let's see what we got on ours. We got, I need help with his name again. I need help with this name. Oh, uh, Duraladon, Duraladon. We got our Burj Khalifa Duraladon again. Let's see if he gives us anything cool. Hmm. Need to stretch again. My neck is. Oh, sorry. <sighs> I think I need to scoot back or get a chair with the back. I'm just sitting on an ottoman. Make note of that for next time. <laughs> Man, I can't even open this. I'm struggling. Ah. Oh 
Oh my gosh. There it is. I almost got it. Oh no, no. False alarm. Come on. I wonder if there's something good in this pack as it's being stubborn. Okay, I'm gonna open it. They said that this um, set has bad pull rates, and I kind of agree. As of how it is right now. Okay. It is 10 random cards per pack, though, so. Better off buying singles. Oh, and it's another green. I think this set does have bad pull rates so far. Uh, four to the front, and let's look at them. Fire! You know what that means. Let's do some fire bending. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> okay. Tentacruel. Palpitoad. Oops, took too many. Shopping Center. Hey, we went to one of these today, actually. Got uh, some Marvel hoodies. I got a Marvel hoodie at Shopping Center. Um, Zora. So another wolf fox looking thing. Here's our Psyduck. I like the art on this one. It's very peaceful looking. Uh, Rufflet. Drowsy. Look at that. Dragonrola. Nuzleaf. Reverse Nuzleaf. And the last one is Drampa. Alright, so we had we had some cool um cards to just get started. We didn't pull anything crazy. Um, but you know, that's the that's the game. That's the chance you get with some of these, so maybe in the future we'll pull something really nice and we'll get it on stream. Let me just clean up. There's packs and stuff everywhere now. Let me stack all of these up. How many cards do I have right now? I think I have like this is fifty cards. I don't sell in bulk. I haven't sold cards. So I'm, just, I'm just gonna keep them. I don't know. We didn't pull any. We didn't pull any big golden cards or anything crazy though. But oh well. It's always fun to open Pokemon cards, especially on stream. Should we stack. There's our fire and water energy. Move these over here. Well, I'm gonna put that up there. Okay, so um, these were cards I bought from eBay a while back, and so yeah, I haven't I haven't pulled many of these myself, but. I'm hoping that if I get a little bit, if I um, just keep looking for singles, I think I'll find some nice things like I did with these. So, anywho, <laughs> I have this whole stack of cards here from openings that uh, nothing came out of them other than a holo or a V Max, but or a V card, not a V Max. But yeah, these are all just like commons and uh, verses. This is a stack of, I think, I don't know how long this stack has been here. Maybe early summer is when I started making this, but yeah, it's just sitting on my dresser. My jars. So yeah, that's, that's about it for this stream. <laughs> we got through the Pokemon card part. Um, I don't know what I want to do for the rest of the time. get started on my chem stuff which I think I might do so <laughs> anywho guys thank you so much for tuning in thank you super sammy thank you chrome nelson um thank you everyone for all the support and all the views and um yeah just uh, I hope you had a lot of fun watching all my streams and I plan to maybe make uh, one stream a week. I, I'll be busy because of college, but you know one stream is one stream 
So, yeah, I'll, I'll think of some other things I could do on for this channel. I really hope to grow my channel and um, stream more stuff. Maybe bring back the um, trying random games on the Google Play, so that was fun. I, I enjoyed that very much. Found the Uno game. I played another stream of that. That was really cool. Um, yeah, I'm thinking of doing, like, just quick streams, um, different things. I'll maybe perform live music again. Mm hmm. That so uh, that's about it. <laughs> I could I could play my kalimba again on stream too. I have the kalimba. I was messing with one of the tines, this B and this A, this one right here. I don't know if you could hear it, but it's a dead note right now. I just need to fix it somehow. This A also has some something wrong with it sometimes it's when it's like out of place or uh, it's not pushed up well like I think it moved I this thing moved on its own yeah I need to I need to just carefully like tinker around with it right now it's making that noise again I don't know what makes it to have that noise. I need to like maybe clean all of the maybe clean all the tines or even possibly get a new one. There's some nicer quality ones on. There's some nicer quality ones on Amazon. Uh, I think it's also because I haven't played in a while that it has that ting to it. Kalimba, everyone. It, it sounds like a, one of those glockenspiels, or music boxes. such a fun instrument to play. I'm going to try and um, figure out what's making those weird looking buzzing sounds, weird sounding buzzing sounds. You can't see a sound. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and mess around with this and maybe clean it. Maybe that'll help. Anywho, that's going to be it for the stream. Thank you again for tuning in. Thank you for all the support and all the follows and all the views. I really appreciate it, guys. All the support has been tremendous. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thank you for tuning in, and please do something nice for someone. All right, guys. See ya. Have a good day. I think it pushed in. Yeah. Okay, I think I did.